Firefighters play an important role in our community and becoming one is no easy task. Graham 2's Dana Marie McNichol went on a very unique assignment. She packed up and went to the Tri-Cities where she spent the day training as a firefighter. Yes, she geared up alongside lawmakers and city council members to experience what it's like for the men and women who protect our community. Dana Marie. What an incredible once in a lifetime experience that totally wore me out. Um, I conquered a lot of fears that day, but more importantly, gained a newfound respect and insight into a job that most people never get. Good morning from the Hammer Training Facility. I am fully geared up and ready to go. This is my safety chaperone, Lee. He's with the Spokane Fire Department. Today we're gonna to be going through how many activities? Six different activities. That high five was full of exhaustion, but experiencing a day in the life of a firefighter was worth the hard work. Yeah, there you go, put the pressure on here. Fire Ops 101 is full of real life rescue scenarios to help lawmakers, city representatives, and media understand what it's like on the job. And no, they did not take it easy on us. I joined the long list of city council members in Spokane who went through that exact same training. I didn't finish the day actually. Well almost the same training. What put me over the edge was I climbed up the six-story building with uh, 80 pounds of uh, equipment on my back. No, I am not laying down. I almost collapsed up at the top. They cut me and said no more. It's a tough job. Ben Stuckert, the Spokane City Council president, says his job doesn't even compare. I always talk about uh, how I actually couldn't be a fireman for even one day. A day where 80% of the calls in Spokane don't involve fighting a fire. Responding to cardiac arrests, drug overdoses, and medical emergencies are a large part of a firefighter's responsibility. The key is manpower and teamwork when it comes to pit crew CPR, a new highly effective Five, technique. Four, three, two, one, you're on. When firefighters do get called to a fire, they are prepared for any situation, from putting out a fire in a dumpster, a car, or a house, firefighters taught us how highly technical, labor-intensive, and time-critical each call can be, especially when you are racing against the clock. There you are. You've been involved in a horrific car accident. You want the right people to show up with the right equipment in a timely fashion and know what they're doing. I was actually out on a call once, on a live call, and using the jaws of life, and we got uh, trapped by a train. So there were other firemen on the scene that got there, but they couldn't get the person out of the car because we were caught with the jaws of life. So, Take this roof, we're gonna crank it way up. Okay, we're we're gonna gonna out. To me, it all kind of plays together and fits that you need the right equipment and you need a lot of it. The Spokane Fire Department only has three of these life-saving tools, but getting the funding isn't simple. There's a grant right now that's paying for 44 firefighters. That money runs out um, in the middle of 2019 and there's not a good plan to replace those 44 firefighters. A balance that is difficult to make when it comes to saving lives. Right now there's a lot of discussion in the city about what we're going to do, but there isn't a firm plan. With the number of firefighters decreasing and the number of calls increasing every day, Stuckert knows how crucial funding is. Everybody that ever goes through fire ops training understands the job a lot better and really takes that into account as you uh, try to prioritize issues moving forward. Now, I have a long way until I become a <laughs> firefighter in Spokane, but I, they did give me this really cool helmet that sits mm -hmm. on my desk, nice. the sense of pride, and a remember of, remembrance of that day. So. Yeah. Well, was there one thing that stood out that was more difficult than the others, or just kind of everything? Oh my gosh, how heavy the equipment is, mm -hmm. and how in high intensity and high pressure every mm -hmm. single activity was. I mean, mm -hmm. I was exhausted. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, even though it's make-believe, right? The adrenaline, it looked like oh, it was yes. really going. Oh, 110% of the time. And that 100 foot ladder, I don't, I don't blame Ben for like, <laughs> I that got cut. No more. <laughs> it was terrifying. <laughs> well, well, good for you for going you. through yeah. that. That Thank was you awesome. Good Lots job. of fun.